champion of 2013 and national record holder for Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Welcome Holly Bradshaw. There is the opening jump for Nicoletta Kiriakopoulou, the Greek athlete. 4 meters and 45 and very easily there over for the Greek athlete. Was injured in 2016 after she took that World Championship bronze in 2015 and then had a daughter last year and is now back competing and really getting into the higher heights again this season. Has a season's best of 4.72 and she looked good there. Holly Bradshaw, who is entering the competition at this height. 4.55 for the Britain there, and also looking very good. Nicely done. I can't believe it's her first European Championship. She's been very good indeed, consistent in other international championships. Has Holly Bradshaw, sixth and fifth in Olympic finals, seventh and sixth in successive World Championship finals. Finished fourth at the Commonwealth Games this year, so was a little disappointing there. But great performance there from the bridge. Nicoletta Kiria Kapulu, the Greek, <laughs> celebrating there as she clears that next night of 4.65. When she rises, but that's quite a bit of room left there between herself and the bar. Moves slightly to the right hand side, but there the coach is happy. Good performance, celebrating. Just got that little bit quieter in the stadium for a while because the roar that came up for each of the introduced uh, German marbles. And we can see there the defending champion with her opening jump, very comfortable. Way to the world there to enter the competition. 465. There is her sister, who's also a pole water, and her husband and coach, Mitch Creer, with the red cap. Travels around the circuit with her. We've often seen him help out some of the other vaulters as well when some of the coaches can't be travelling. It's all right, sis. And there is Holly Bradshaw, the British champion. Very powerful athlete. Looked very good there as well. Over that height. So we now have quite a few athletes over 465. First time clearance is there for Korea Piccolo, Stefanidi, Guyon Romara. Holly Bradshaw. It's now turning into the medal deciding jumps. Nicoletta Kuria Kapulu, just one failure so far at 455. 470 in the first attempt, 465 in the first attempt. Now we're at 475. Can the Greek athlete continue her near flawless run? There. And you can see how much it means to her. Fantastic performance there from the Greek. 
could we see two Greek medals? It's most likely there's only four athletes remaining in this field. Kuria Kapulu, Stefanidi, of course, the second Greek, the defending champions, and then Sidorova and Holly Bradshaw still in at 475. I have a feeling that the event presentation team is looking for that bazooka music that rang out around the Berlin Olympic Stadium last night for Militaris Tentov Luna for his victory in the long jump. And then we can see it's also a season's best for Kuria Kapolo. As we move on to the next Greek, Ekaterini Stefanidi has won pretty much anything you can win these last few years. And she goes clear as well. Of course, a lot fewer attempts for her. Only entered the competition at 4.65. Left out at 4.70 and now goes clear at 4.75. Really struggled with injury during the indoor season. Was very happy that she managed to win a medal at the World Indoor Championships. And then also struggled a little during the outdoor season going in. But now she's really finding that top form that we are used to seeing from her in major championships. They're conferring with her coach and husband, Mitch Creer. Well, it's noticeable that Stephanie has said in all interviews throughout the season that she's really targeting these European championships. Holly Bradshaw had two failures at 4.75 and has just one attempt remaining. She's seen the two Greek athletes go over the height and she joins them there with 4.75. Absolutely delighted the Britain there with that height. And we could see there from our positions here the other athletes clapping for her and cheering her on as she was attempting that last jump at this height. Getting close to her season's best there of 480. Set a personal best last year of 481, a British record. There we can see Stefanini celebrating her. They get on really well, most of the pole vaulters do. They just spend so much time together. Championship record held by... This woman here, Katerina Stefanidi, with 481. And she's looking very strong. And she clears it in her first attempt as well. So if she keeps going like this, she will be hard to beat. And that championship record will be history very soon. It was so dominant last year. And she was saying she hasn't seen anyone as dominant in the pole board in a while. And she's starting to take it for granted so this season's kind of helped her come back down to earth a bit she struggled a little to start off with but now really finding into that championship shape she's been chasing and you can see just the smile there she's very happy with her performance and she can be indeed as we take a look at Nicoletta Kyria Kapulu her first failure at 480 and she goes clear as well so currently we have a Greek 1-2 in the women's pole vault and what a night it will be they'll be dancing in the streets of Athens tonight and I did see a few Greek restaurants around the centre of Berlin as well not far from our hotel I'm sure the music will be turned up just a notch there and the highlights of this competition being played Angelika Sidorova had left out that 4.75 and is back in with 4.80. Had cleared 4.70 in her third attempt. Now, Holly Bradshaw with her final attempt at 4.80. Can she join the two Greeks? No. Not to be, but it's a guaranteed bronze for Holly Bradshaw and she will be more than happy. It's her first European Championship and she brings home a bronze medal. And that will certainly be a bit of a consolidation after missing out on that medal at the Commonwealth Games earlier in the year. If she can clear that for 85, it would be 
a new championship record and better the one that she herself set in Amsterdam. And she does it! The bar wobbles slightly, it stays up. And what a fantastic performance there. Her coach on the right, guessing it might be her dad on the left. Just showing again what a championship performer she is. Came in here with the pressure on her back. Berlino there. Congratulating her. Stephanie Di is the confirmed winner. She has raised the bar to what would be a world leading 496. Has already got a championship record. But no. What a performance again. Great champion there. There is Mitch Creer, her husband and coach. She wanted to defend that title, that was her top priority in 2018, and she did with class in a championship record, 485 for the Greek. Second, Nicoletta Kuriakopoulou with 480 as well. And in third, Britain's Holly Bradshaw with 475. Has to untangle the flag there first. And of course, the pole boards will have to tidy up their poles as well. There she is, flying the Greek flag after we already saw a Greek victory in the long jump yesterday. There is her sister. Held the flag upside down, I think. Now all good, celebrating with Berlino. It must be quite relieving to get a hug from a big bear there. You know they say bear hugs. I think that's quite literal in that sense. See Berlino do a few laps of the track over the course of this evening. He's probably been one of the most active people on the track. I wonder whether he's wearing one of those step trackers. And there's Kiriak Hulu joining her for a photograph that I'm sure is going to be on the front pages of all the Greek newspapers tomorrow. And now Holly Bradshaw joining the pair and will be delighted with that bronze medal. Really great performance by all three of them.